Hi lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be redecorating my room. Not redecorating, rearranging my room because like you guys know my room is quite small and it just sort of feels like I don't have enough space and I feel like the space I have is actually not properly optimized so I want to move things around and then let's see how it looks after that okay here like if you see it's kind of like horizontal I'm going to try to make it stand make it vertical a bit and then I would make it more aesthetic because right now I have my hair stuff I have my midnight snack I have some cups I have some bottles of water I have just a bunch of stuff there so I want to see if I can make it aesthetic let's go guys <music> So the next thing I'm going to do, guys, I took off my wig because I'm being realistic. I want to look aesthetically pleasing to you guys. I want to look gorgeous, but I can't do this with the wig on. So I'm going to take my mirror. Take my mirror, guys. We over here by the side of my bed. Honestly, the way, where it is, if I want to wake and um, dress up, I have very little space to dress up. I will not come to the bed, to the side of the bed and stand in this very small space here and be like, oh, do I look cute? So I'm going to take it. thinking i would place it here just in front of like the light so that uh, when i open my window i can use the lights to look at myself real time so i was thinking something like this i was thinking something like this but now i don't know it's it just gives me enough space to like look at myself and all but now i'm sort of thinking it could have been here Let's see what that looks like. Does it make sense to like, does it make sense to be like this? Just beside, it makes zero sense. So let's see. Does it make more sense for it to be like this? Yes, yeah, so now we're going to leave the mirror where it is and we can always switch that up. Next things next, my bed. The thing that takes the most space. Mind you, I've dropped a bunch of things on my bed from the shelf, but I'm going to arrange it into the closet and I said a bunch of stuff from the shelf is on my bed. <laughs> thinking i would put my study table right beside the shelf so um 
now that I'm thinking about it, if I put my study table beside the shelf and I want to look at myself in the mirror, would that not be uncomfortable as well? Because the mirror is right here. And I also need enough space for the door to open. Wow, this is a small space. Okay. You see how the door wasn't closing properly. So this was an option, and although it looks very, it looks very, very good here. This was an option. The other option was putting next to my bed. You know what, guys? Whether my door is not, whether my door was open properly or not, this chair, this table is gonna be where it is. Honestly, I don't even need doors open completely. So I don't, I really don't. Because I could not do this in my room before. Can you imagine that? I could not spin around. And then, um, so basically, I can do, I have no excuse not to work out or not to stretch or not to dance. Oh, so yeah, I have a lot of, I'm really proud. And the only thing this place is missing right now is rugs. So I'm going to check out some rugs tomorrow if they're, if there's something I can afford, I will buy and then I'll place here so you can kind of like pull the room together. So now guys, I'm going into my closet. My closet is super duper duper small, but like the way I, the way I am, that like I'm really organized, so I know how to manage a small space well. So I'm going to go into my locker and, you know, try to arrange and move stuff around and make sure everything has a place. And I'm a very practical cleaner. I will not clean and go and put the things I need away because I want it to look good for the first day, you know. I'm going to make sure things I need are where I need them and they look good. You know in the long run so yeah <music>
Thank you.